Greetings, salutations, and all good things in between. What's up everyone, Matt here. This is the video where I'm gonna show you how to get started with that Gmail responder sample app. Let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do, make a copy of the app. So come here, hit the copy and customize button. Step number one's done. All right, so then once you get here, there's one last thing you need to do. So there is a technical limitation when you copy it in AppSheet app. Only the owner of the app is allowed to add a script file to the, to the, the app, which means technically you weren't the one that made that connected the script file to this app when you made the copy. I connected the script to my app and you made a copy of that. You weren't the one that made this connection. It's a, a off in the weeds technical thing, but all you need to do is just reconnect the script to the app and you're done. It's actually very simple. Let me show you what to do. So here I am with my sample, with my copy of the app. All I got to do is come over here to bots. And then inside here, you can go to any one of these, of these bots that run a script. It doesn't matter which one, because the thing we need to do is connect the script file and all of these scripts are in the same file. So it doesn't matter which one of these you go to. Uh, I'm just going to say the one at the top. So go here, click on the, de uh, the task so that it opens up its details and you should see this. You should see you need to authorize it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So say yes, say yes. It's, uh, you, are you sure you wanna do this? Sign your life away. You know, I could, this script could be destroying your account, whatever. Okay, so now that I've done that, now, the, the next thing that I need to do is I need to change this file. So it's very simple. Just click on this file selector here. This brings up this file finder, right? And then in here, search for the exact name of this script file because I shared it with you and you'll be able to find it. So just do email and you can just do that. Responder, right? There you go. Once you do this, that selects that and then you're done. You hit save, and now the, the, the app is ready to go. Clearly, you need to go through and do like a deployment check to make sure that everything's okay. Yep, we're good to go. And as soon as I'm done with this, this app is now live, ready for me to work with. I can come in here and I can create my responders. I can create my labels. That will then create the corresponding labels in my Gmail account. And then I can start flagging messages, create a little draft reply for some like, here's how I want you to reply. The system will periodically see, it runs on a schedule that you can set up, you see the details in the video. Uh, and it'll go over to your Gmail, grab anything that's been flagged with a label. If you, get, if you gave it some instructions on how to respond, it'll follow those. And there you go, it's that simple. Let me know if you have any difficulties, comments, questions, or anything down below, and I will uh, address them. If you would like to gain access to this sample app, if you've heard about it and you think it sounds like something that you'd like to play with, you can head on over to my website and the place where you wanna go is the answer portal. Um, once inside the answer portal, here, huh, go over to support tiers and Sign up for a support tier. Doesn't matter which one, any one of these will get you access to this sample app that I'm talking about. If you would like to chat with Appster, you need to go with the student tier or higher. And if you would like some one-on-one -on -one time with me, uh, I have an apprentice tier and there are still some slots available. So if you would like, head on over there and sign up today. All right, everybody, that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching, do appreciate it. See you in the community.